Hello, people. This is Lowndes Styles, and this is another CUR Commentators Under Review. Now, today's commentator that I'll be reviewing today, he likes the Beatles. He uses Hobbes as his avatar. Amongst young author Adam, Jen Otaku, and a few others, he is called the God of Ranters. In fact, any video this guy makes is entertaining. And his commentaries, just as better. Yep, today I am going to be reviewing. That's right, Young Blood Fantasy 91. Young Blood Fantasy 91, or as I like to call him, the Sigmund Freud of commentators. I call him that because, unlike many other commentators, he actually takes a psychological aspect when doing these commentaries. Every time you listen to a Young Blood commentary. It's like you're listening to a live in session between a patient and a shrink. I mean, every time this person talks, young blood's there. You could just imagine him sitting on a couch with a pen and pads like, hmm. Now tell me about your childhood. A couple of things happen when you listen to a young blood fantasy commentary. Either one or two things. The first one is either you feel really stupid because you sit there throughout most of the video scratching your head wondering what are half the words he even mean. Or another thing is that you just applaud the young man for the fact that he could articulate every single word he says and says everything to the T that it almost sounds like a college professor lecturing on the stupidity of mankind. Either way, you will never, and I mean never, feel like you've just wasted three seconds of your life listening to this guy talk. Like many others, he has a great voice and he is very entertaining to listen to. And his music choice is not so bad either. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Uh, I wrote this down because uh, there was somebody. There was somebody here that wanted me to say something about Young Blood when we got when I got to the C U R. Who was it? Oh yeah, it was uh, Young Arthur Adam. Let's see what did he say. Oh yeah, I remember. Two things happen when you look at a Young Blood commentary. He will pawn all, and will make you feel like a dumbass while doing so. That's what he told me to say. Well, Adam. Hope you enjoyed my little shout out that you wanted me to tell in the CUR. Enjoy your five seconds of fame. We now return you back to your regularly scheduled review. And because it just wouldn't be a CUR if I didn't do this, here are some clips of Young Blood Fantasy's commentaries. Well, look at the last two tags of the video. It looks like you just got trolled. So, Shadow Star, manipulating the data to your own advantage and then claiming that it was a major trick on the Nostalgia Critic fanboys is clearly a representation of how awesome of a commentator you are. When in reality you're just transferring blame to everyone but yourself because you can't admit that you made a mistake and that you have this unhealthy superiority complex. Pro tip, assuming that every member of your audience is a Nostalgia Critic fanboy and then trying to cover up for your mistakes makes you look like an arrogant prick. Hello, this is Gyro speaking. If you review our sub retards, I shall list them now. Okay, from the word go, there are several problems with the video. First, you're using the hated program Spiconia, something that all Sonic Recolorists use for some unexplained reason. Second, you seem to lack any sort of grammatical structure, as I can clearly tell. You didn't put any punctuation marks within the first couple sentences. Third, listing people who disagree with you as retards is by no means a retardant against haters and trolls. But of course, this sort of thing flies over your head because you voluntarily refuse to understand that. Amphros Man is either 15 or 16. Metal Lily is either 11 or 12. Meaning, at the least, there's a three year difference. And at the most, there's a five year difference. Yeah, you produced that argument from a friend, simply put, hearsay, and yet you accused everyone of being victim to hearsay anyway. Hmm, I love the smell of, of hypocrisy in the morning, don't you? Tess is a sweet girl and you're hating on her? Oh crap, why is Tess getting haters? Probably because Tess recolored to the point of insanity and plenty of people realize that it is very uncreative to do so. Criticism like this is rampant all over the internet, so what's your problem with that? We can't have opposing opinions on the issue? Most of the time I like to jump right into it, but I understand some people may not have followed this, so let me just give a quick summary of exactly what the hell I'm talking about at this point. And the summary is loosely based on videos everyone made on Joshua, including commentaries and other related nonsense. And yet he never was in a Skype call with Joshua, nor has he discussed with Joshua concerning any matter on Skype or elsewhere. And yet he can say something about the issue without having a self-serving bias to guide him. We'll surely listen to you, buddy. Don't worry, 
because they think they can stop me recovering, but they can't and they will never be able to. See, it's this type of obdurate and ridiculously stubborn behavior that keeps attracting more criticism and more trolls to your videos and channel. You refuse to listen to reason, then you'll be mocked for it. Simple as that. Well, that was my little montage of Youngblood Fantasy 91's commentaries. If you liked his said commentaries, his channel is in the description box below. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's get on to the grading, shall we? I give Youngblood Fantasy an A for effort, and his overall grade will be an A+. Well, that was my C.U.R. on Youngblood Fantasy 91. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope he enjoyed it as well. I'm Lounge Styles here to tell you that, Youngblood, I am on the brighter later. I'll see you there in a few minutes. And also, I want to say the following. Rest in peace, Randy Savage. Somewhere up there, you're snapping into a Slim Jim with Owen Hart, Eddie Guerrero, and everybody else that we've lost this year. Good night.